I know that you're familiar with. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not a question. That's not a question. Those are facts, Mr. Zuckerberg. That's not a question. Those aren't facts. Let me show you some more facts. Here are some, here's some information from a whistleblower who came before the Senate, testified under oath in public. He worked for you, the senior executive. Here's what he showed he found when he studied your products. So, for example, this is girls between the ages of 13 and 15 years old. 37% of them reported that they had been exposed to nudity on the platform, unwanted, in the last seven days. 24% said that they had experienced unwanted sexual advances they'd been propositioned in the last seven days. 17% said they had encountered self-harm content pushed at them in the last seven days. Now, I know you're familiar with these stats because he sent you an email where he lined it all out. I mean, we've got a copy of it right here. So I many parents, we out of tune of what's going on with our kids. These kids got social media, so they got a lot more friends that we don't know about. We need to have that. We need to get more involved with our kids if we're going to break that disconnect of this entitlement. What's up, visionaries? What's good? Welcome to another episode of Visions of Love and Relationships. I'm Tanya, and this is my wonderful husband. And we hope everybody's doing well as usual. We're going to throw a little sprinkle, a little, a little song. Them kids. We don't throw them kids on there. Because a healthy relationship, a relationship, if the kids' relationship is healthy, then it's going to project out, and our relationship is going to do better with it when the kids' relationship is healthy. Our relationship with the kids. So, mm -hmm. so we can tie <clears throat> this one. Building a healthy a dynamic. Healthy dynamic. Yes. Matter of fact, building a healthy relationship dynamic with the kids mm -hmm. that's going to ultimately you know, bring your relationship closer as married people too, or being in a relationship, a serious relationship. So yeah, um, kids can make or break a marriage or a relationship. And it's just the truth, okay? So what do you think, babe, is, was one of the biggest things that we, let's talk about some that we learned from. I mean, because we did have, we got six kids. Yes, yeah, so we got six kids. That all grown yeah. out of the house, so. We definitely got that experience. <laughs> they all grown and gone. Yeah. So, um, talk to them a little bit about, you know, what, what you think one of the biggest uh, things, should I say, I don't want to say disagreements, but one of the one of the biggest things that kept us colliding. Yeah. It's gotta be maybe good. not even on the same page and stuff in our relationship. That we, you know. Communication, man. Mm -hmm. Wanna keep communication is probably one of the biggest things in in family dynamics that really cause conflict on in families. Yeah. Especially in the black community. Yeah. I mean we don't know how to talk. A lot of the times we, we just don't even know where to start. Um, other times we we not even looking, you know, yeah. for that start in us. So then therefore we ain't looking for it in our kids. And a lot of times, you know, a lot of people raise their children on how they was raised. Yeah. So that's the blueprint that a lot of us have. And some people and some people say I want to raise my kids better than how I was mm. raised, but yet they don't have the right information, the right skills to actually raise mm. their kids better. They think raising their kids better. With, with, and more times when they say better it means with more stuff. Yeah. More privileges. Yeah. And 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 the end as we see the results of that right there is now we living in a more entitled culture. Yeah. So they working on their outward appearance versus and not appearance. really making them better. Yeah. Like you want your kid to be the best version of them, but you saying that you want to, uh, you want your kid to have more than what you had growing yeah. up, and you you're not really digging deep because you're talking about the clothes. Because most you're people they, the they think as a physical outward appearance. Yeah, and we forget that the reason why we we messed up and we keep carrying over generational trauma is because we invest in all our money, energy, and time into outward appearance, yes. especially with our kids. Yes, so we're not working on that <clears throat> inside, which is the mind. the mind. We got our kids walking around thinking they 
you know, the, the that, shit that, pretty yeah, much. We, we, right now we live in, everybody want to be bosses and now that bossness is carrying over to the kids and now they extra rebellious. Yeah. They out here carrying guns at 13, 14 years old. They don't know how to talk to people. Why? Because we weren't so much about the out. They think because they're a man, they got to show it with an outward appearance. Yeah. And it's coming back, backfiring on us right now. Yeah, so one of the things that we got to do as parents is understand that being the shit is just not having the latest clothes and stuff. Yeah. In fact, it's backwards. Yeah. You the shit when you got something up here, something yeah. that you can take with you. Yeah. So that's what we want to instill, something good that you can take, that the kids yeah. can take with them. Yeah, of course. Like, and not clothes. We got to instill that. Yeah. We got to give them affirmations. We got to, you yeah. know, sit them in front of uh, E.T. Eric yeah, we Thomas. Gotta, we got to sit them in front of people. They, they need, they need, they need, the kids nowadays need to be in front of more positive stuff. Things, yeah. yeah. Instead of just letting them play on the phone 24-7 mm. or, you know, just doing nothing or being on TikTok and stuff. Let them, if you're going to have them on YouTube, let them watch something that's going to help yeah. them in the long run. Because that's what we need. We got to build our children up yeah. teach, for the future. As the Bible says, teach them as, as the way they should go and the, and the good Lord will direct their path and they should not turn from it. Right. But the problem is we not really teaching them nothing. Right. We're not. We teaching our kids the basic necessities, but as far as what we need to know now is we, the kids need to learn more compassion. Yeah. They need to know how to express their their feelings without being physical. Cause right now, the whole most of the generation, these young kids are here expressing their feelings in a physical way, mm -hmm. and they don't know how to express it in a non-physical way. They don't know how to talk instead of getting all out of emotion. They, they, especially the men, the men out here being raised as more girly than the than the, than the girls. Absolutely, um, yeah. and those, the, the same men we despising is the same kid or, the, or the, the woman yeah. the woman the woman don't want this kind of man but we so we raising yeah. yes we're raising mama's boys <laughs> did you say you was guilty of raising did you say I any of my kids was was you more harder on the girls or the boys i was more harder on the girls um and it's i have my reasons number one the boy was the baby so, you know, mothers, we always, it's always something about the baby. You love them all. I love them all. And the girls just had a lot of mouth. Yeah. Not all of them. Yeah. Like, if they ain't have a lot of mouth, they were doing something sneaky, like cutting up their clothes, you know, something that, you know, yeah. <laughs> something that'll make a mother mad. Yeah. You know, and um, as far as the boy, he was just, he, he was just sweet. <laughs> And see, that's how a lot. Of, that's how a lot of the mothers is, man. We babing up these boys too much. These boys need more discipline. These boys need more direction. These boys need more ways to communicate because they the ones out here that's causing ruckus, man. Yeah, but I will say and they need to be held accountable. They need they need to learn early that there is consequence behind these yeah, asses. Look yeah. at all this looting and stuff going on. I mean, they going they really going crazy out here, looting, breaking in the going in. All this mass uh, theft and stuff is going on. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. But and I, and baby, I got to say this before you get into that. Go ahead. I got to defend my aunt go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> about my boy because he's he's going to be a good man. He's going to be a good man for a woman, though. He didn't have too much spoiling. You know, I ain't buy him everything you wanted. And he had you there to yeah. give him that. Rub yeah, that, that I what, what he needed, needed. but yeah. a lot of parents out here don't have that right. man, that that father figure in the right. household. I'm just defending my mom right yeah. quick, you know. So he will be a. I think he'll make it. Yeah, I mean, but I, I can't say most at least none of our boys are. We got three boys and three girls. None yeah. of them are, are, are aggressive women beaters. No, but none of them are aggressive about their life. That I can't say that. Yeah, and that's because I was in their life to show them that. And showing them with our relationship mm -hmm. that you don't hit on a woman, that right. you respect your woman. I'm right. saying, that's what I think. But before, that's what let's, before we get in there, go ahead and finish talking about the looting because that's a whole other thing that I would love to touch. Yeah, I mean that that loot, all oh, that's coming because kid, these these kids nowadays they got the they got the tendency if they want it they're gonna go get it, mm -hmm. they're gonna take it. Yeah. We're not showing them that no, that's level. 
if you can, you need to work for, for what you want. We, we're not showing them to work for what they want. Why? Because a lot of times these parents out here, we're giving the kids everything. And they they bad. They out here messing up in school, but we like my parents and guys, so I'm going to make sure that you look good. Mm -hmm. So now they got the thing that they can get stuff even though they haven't earned it because we showing them that we giving them stuff that they haven't earned. Yeah. I know you got some parents that don't take care of the kids, but for a lot of parents out here, they you spoiling the kids so much. They doing bad. They not doing good at school, but yet they got the latest iPhone. Yeah. They got you buying a new pair of shoes. You buy a new pair of shoes every Christmas, holidays, and birthdays. We buy all this, spend all this money on outward appearance. And we're forgetting the most important thing, yeah. and that's inside. Yeah, absolutely. We're spending no money on this right here. And the next, probably the next, in the next seven to five years, we're gonna need to spend more on this than anything else, mm -hmm. because we're not we're not gonna be able to do too much physical labor. Next, probably next ten years, the next generation is be moving quick with AI. Things gonna be moving a whole lot more quickly, especially in the black community. If we don't wake up mm -hmm. and and spend more on the inside appearance of our kids, especially at a young age, and yeah. our kids and ourselves too. Yeah, our kids and ourselves. Parents. We gonna be in for a, we, we gonna be in for a better. world awakening. Yeah, man. yeah, absolutely. And I also feel like um, when it comes to dealing with your kids mentally, if you can start early, the that'd start. be phenomenal because one okay. Now, we all guilty you this. So, we at the kids' football game. They suck. <laughs> they they <laughs> suck. But we like, oh, you the best. Yeah. By the time they get home, they think they Aaron Rodgers or somebody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? And they, and but you got to keep it real yeah. with them. Yeah. You ain't got to tell them they suck, per se. But just let them know that, yeah, man, you, you got to do better. Yeah. You know, you ain't yeah. doing the best. You know? And, you know, just but, don't but, give because... them the... The praise just yeah. because they your kids. Because kids need to know that as winners right. and there's losers because they're not. And there's people who have win. not figured out how to win. Right. So you might be you might be the one that just not have to figure out how to win. How you figure out how to win is you get better. You got when things change, you got to get better. You step up and get better, then you gonna realize you'll be better next time. Right. And that's all we want. That's all parents want kids to do is be better. Yeah, but if I'm always feeling like I'm a winner no matter what, then why would I look for getting better? Getting better. Yeah. I'm yeah. the winner. <laughs> and, and that's and we need to stop entitling our kids mm -hmm. to be to be better than they are. Now they good. We don't never want to say nothing negative to our kids. But some things like in sports, like when there's a winner, there's a loser. We need to be sure that they're getting the right information, not we beating around the bush to give them, making they think they won something. They lost. Yeah. Cause or I, they didn't win. Right. All of this is preparing them for the flight. You didn't they win. Leave. Yeah. You know, you want to go ahead and prepare them because people ain't going to give them. They're going to give it to them straight when they get yeah. in the real world. They're going to be losing. Yeah. Sometimes they're going to win. Yeah, but and, at least they were prepared. You and know? they know, and they know that just because they lost, they need to know that they just need to get better. Mm -hmm. Step it up. That's what life is about. Life is about every day we get better, and that's what we need to be installing ourselves. And that's the most important that we need to be installing the next generation mm -hmm. because they are the ones that's supposed to be leading us to the future. They say children are the future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. But if this that is what, uh, it. no, 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 Mike, Whitney, Mike, Whitney, Mike, Whitney Mike, 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 in line with the, the values. Yeah. And sometimes our grandparents come in. We or got, they grandparents. Or they, been, they grandparents. The other, the other partner's grandparents come in and teaching and pulling the values of our kids and pulling principles and lessons that and skills that we you might be trying to teach your kid, but, but you got so many people in your in your business. They used to say back in the day that it takes a village to raise a child. Mm -hmm. But that village needs to raise a child in the direction that the parent feels is best for for the child to go. Yeah, I also feel like that, um, and this can go for aunts, uncles, anybody. Like, if you if you keeping my child and they over there, they might need to vent to you. Yeah. But use the method of correction. Yeah. You know, yeah. don't make them feel like you know that 
they they a victim because yeah. now we got a victim society. Yeah, right. we don't want to make them feel like they're a victim. We want you want to be the ear that they hear. Yeah, but still understand that you know the person that they talking about. You know mm -hmm. the person that they venting about. And if you know that person stand on values, they're a good person. They're a good parent. Then you need to push them back to the values that they were. They parent. They they coming over there. Uh, vent to you about because right. nine times of ten, it's more than like it's probably something they didn't get to do mm -hmm. or some place they didn't get to get to go or something, some privilege that they didn't get because their parents feel like they wasn't mature enough or they didn't deserve to get the privilege that they was asking for. Right. So us as the the other parent in the house, us as the other people that's trying to the village that's trying to help raise this child, with that village need to be on the same alignment. Mm -hmm. So whatever the values that the parent put in place, we might that's why you gotta set boundaries. You might need to have a talk with other people that your child deals with to make sure that they know what you got you what you want for your child Absolutely. that go on not at your house, but uh, when they come over here too. Yeah. Now, I understand you have a little lead where you have a little you might let them have a little more privilege or something what you do, but you're not gonna cross the values that I put in place to, to underline my decision to make a look for you to make my child look at me like I'm the bad guy. Yeah. When I know what's best for him, you just trying to be more friendly to him to yeah. try to kind of build that friend bond without being a a grown folk and yeah. a more mature person that's doing what's best for the child in the future, not what's best for them right now. Yeah. And yeah. I think a lot of parents need to focus on that. Yeah. Boundaries in place with other people that's involved in the child's life. So y'all all on one accord mm -hmm. on how you should raise your child. Right. Not everybody pulling screens because the kids already got enough with social media. We got social media in play. Mm -hmm. We got everything that's pulling at their attention saying, be this way, be that way, be this way, be that way. You ain't got to mm -hmm. listen to You can do what you want. I'm a boss. So I'm a boss. And you ever see so many other people's lifestyle that some these kids, they get anxiety and they think their lifestyle is, is really messed up. For some, it might be. But for a lot of kids, they just dealing with entitlement issues. And anxiety trying to grow up so quickly because they got so much they looking at that's pulling at their attention. Yeah. And nobody's not enough pe not enough positive influence in their life life that's pushing them in the right direction. Yeah. So like I said, I do think that the parent the the village that we have raising the kids need to be on one accord. We, as you can see, we was just looking at the uh, the little school. A parent is, is suing the school. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Because they done turned around and uh, trying to switch the girl's look. She was still in elementary school, trying to make her change her sex. Got her believing that she's a, a boy or a girl or something. Yeah, and she was autistic. And she was autistic. Yeah. So she wasn't like that. And they they changing her name at school, mm -hmm. and the parents ended up finding out. They sent a letter. They sent a letter to the parents. They giving her books. They giving a book <laughs> about. It, it, you know, yeah, the, they, light, the, the gay yeah, lifestyle. Yeah, changing yourself you know, to so the person change. that didn't, that thought they was a boy and how they felt and all that stuff. Like, persuade the clip. They're yeah, persuading the kids mm -hmm. into believing that they're a man or a girl when they the opposite sex. And a lot of and that and they doing that because and they were doing that behind his back. Yeah, they were doing it behind a parent's back. Yeah, so we'll get the clip and we'll add the clip. Yeah. Or we'll put it in the description if we're not able to add the clip in. Yeah, so yeah, like I said, they just they that was to, a big decision, and they but it's a, that was a good thing to bring up, baby, because that's a, a prime example of people not teaching your kids on the value. I don't want my son to be thinking he no girl, yeah, especially not in elementary school. I don't want my daughter to be thinking she's a man or she in elementary school. That's something that we as a parent should be the one that govern our kids' decision over there. They and that not only that is they 
Now they try to make it so the kids can make their own decision at a young age about their sex reality mm -hmm. and stuff. And that's crazy. I mean, yeah. these kids, they, they can barely make a, make a decision. You They almost want you to be hands-off with raising kids nowadays. So yeah. You can't punish them. You can't be too harsh on them. So they, you can't tell them about their sex or nothing. So that's crazy. If we are to take control of our kids and our youth and change the dynamics of our relationship and the kids' relationship, then we need to take we need to have more boundaries around what people are teaching our kids that right. don't align with the values that we have. Right. So we can't can kids can go in one direction and not be being pulled every direction. They don't know what's right. Right. And just for disclaimer purposes, let me just put it out there. These are our values and uh principles that we just, you know, yeah. let y'all know. But you know, to each his own. Yeah, yeah, to each his own. All right, so don't be getting all offended and stuff. It's just our value, you know, and all of this is for informational purposes <clears throat> only, okay? So many parents, we out of tune of what's going on with our kids. These kids got social media, so they got a lot more friends that we don't know about. We need to have that. We need to get more involved with our kids if we're going to break that disconnect of this entitlement so they can be more... Grat show more gratitude and have more humility out there in these streets, man. Mm -hmm. These kids are valid. And the only way it, it starts at home. We the one that's teaching them and they just amplify what we're teaching mm -hmm. them. So we're teaching them not to communicate. We're teaching them uh, not to be able to talk things out instead of uh, doing violence. Then that's what they're doing, as we can see. You know, I used to didn't believe that, though. I used to be one of the people like, why in the world is people talking about it starting in the home? I, mean, I don't think it's starting on that. That used to be my yeah. belief, but now I'm seeing that it really does start in yeah, the home. It starts in the home. How children are looking at us. Yeah. Whether do you know it or not, whether we know it or not, the children are paying attention. They see you if you're a social media yeah. vixen or you know, whatever. You know, they see you if you on social media twenty four hours a day, that's something they yeah. You know, they pay attention to that, and that's something they want to do. They know if you're smoking around them or yeah. drinking around them, or they know if you're a party person. They mm -hmm. know they just fall in line. Yeah, yeah, they just fall in line with it. So just be mindful of the things that you, you know, arguing with your spouse in front of the kids, yeah, saying things no, that no. you don't mean. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just Any be mindful of what you putting and showing your children. Yeah, because the eyes and the gateway... And the, the ears. And the ears and, the, and eyes are the gateway to the mind. So mm -hmm. these kids are only acting out, amplifying what we have showed them. So if we show them, if we haven't showed them a more positive atmosphere, then they all they see is negative. They already naturally already you already got so much negative stuff around them. Mm -hmm. So it's on us to start cultivating a more positive atmosphere, and that starts in the home. Yeah. That starts at home. What what I would suggest, what I would have been doing different, especially if we got all our kids. Our kids was different age, so and they and they was they was in the house at different times. Mm -hmm. But and a lot of kids, you you watching the, the first the first kid is watching the kid before. Yeah. So if you can catch your kids at a young age, then you'll be so much better off. Because a lot of times they start trailing behind what they saw before the other kid did. Copying what they do. Even if the results wasn't wasn't good, this new generation they gotta find out for themselves. Right. So it's on us to start cultivating that thing as early as we can, especially at a young age, to cultivate more positive and show them the proper way to communicate so they not out here more violent than the next generation. Yeah. Because it's only gonna get worse. Yeah. If, if, if we if nothing changes, nothing will change. So how do we get these kids we get them at the house? Right. And um just to throw this out there, I'm talking to my my blacks, <laughs> you know, because a lot of us, like I said, we were raised by parents who didn't, you know, they didn't know much. Well, I know I was. I ain't going to speak for everybody. And I ain't saying my, you know, my mama, she did a phenomenal job. I ain't taking nothing away from her. But what I am <clears throat> saying is that she can only teach me what she knows. So mm -hmm. make sure that, you know, while your child is little and growing up, that you also putting something in your mind that you can teach them like on a positive note. Because mm -hmm. I'm telling you, what can we give off if we don't know nothing? Yeah. And, and you know what I'm saying? I, I was that young man out there. And I and I and me at a young age, I, I was inside the foster care system. I was in group homes. I was in everything else. 
but bad too. But I, I, I say this and say this. If I was not in those places, I was with my mom with We was loose. We was boys. So we got more freedom. If I would not have been in that group home, like the setting I was in inside foster care system, I would have been in jail. I would have been worse off than I was. I, I ended up going, but I, I, I know that I would have been way worse off. I would have, I would have been way more charges if I would have stayed with my mom because she did not know how to raise boys. She was young, and then now that the culture, environment, and society played a lot that that was we was dealing with. So she was a product of the environment, just like I became a product of my environment. So I know the environment and things we hear, things we put in our ear, things we put out say has an impact impact on the way we project out. Right. So we can if like I said, if I was not in. It's because I was in the group home that I did. I was able to get structure, that I was able to get consequence behind my actions. And I, if I would never learn that with my mother, yeah. So I thank God that I was. She did. We was able to get in there because I did learn values that I think I could not. I know some people would, would say, "Oh, she gave me away," but I know she had to do what she had to do. And some, and I would say that that was the best thing she did because I learned values. Inside of that group, I went to one inside one group home. I know I would have never learned the values that that one person taught me in a year period, year period of time. Yeah, them values stuck, and it made me part of the man I am today. Yeah, because I learned values that I would not have got. And it, one of them, because one of them, they did have two parent household, so I got to hear from the man and the woman. The woman was soft. The woman was nice, coming oh calm, she was touching it, but the dude was direct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I know that I know that the dynamics of. of of the household, how it would go, and a lot of times as single parents, we can't do that. Mm -hmm. So we need extra help and extra tools to help create that environment. And what, like I said, the first thing we you can do is mornings. We need to get our kids on more positive things in the morning. We we started. We was putting our kids on motivation. You got that's the power of this this baby right here. Every everybody everybody got their kids with a phone. So I think we if we're going to do if we're going to use this technology to better us and not disconnect us because that's what this phone is doing. This phone is disconnecting us from human interactions. Mm -hmm. So now we can't even deal with people. We so aggravated. We ain't got time for nothing. Yeah. And we all offend. All we want to do is be on our phone. And that's why I'm saying to start young. Start young. Um, putting sit them in front of that motivation and yeah, you know putting something, giving them affirmation. Affirmation, and you can because the older they get, the more they resent even doing it. Like our kids, they got you know we we started that later, you yeah, know, because we, we was learning. Yeah, we, we started grew later. with the kids, so we were growing too, but we, we weren't was stuck. Them, we was putting we them in growing. front of them, but I. Can, yeah. So we started putting them in front of motivation and stuff every morning before they went to school. But, you know, they kind of had a little chip on their shoulder because they didn't want to, you know, yeah. hear it. So, you know, but now they <laughs> talk about it. Yeah, and, you know? and that's something they talk And now they live, they live, they still got that in them that's going to help them uh, over, the, over the little herds in life because we did install that little bit of motivation because we can't be there to talk to our kids and motivate our kids 24 yeah. 7 but what we can do is put things use this technology to put things in front of them so they can't we can kind of motivate them yeah by giving them direction and order kids need order mm -hmm. and give them uh schedules that they need to do to keep they self-motivated yeah and, uh, and i was going to say that too we were the type of parents that uh <clears throat> we we didn't have a we wasn't washing dishes and stuff. Our kids was learning how to be independent yeah. at a young age. They yeah. could stand on the chair yeah. and wash the dishes. They got to know this kind of stuff. You're going to have to do this yeah, stuff. Yeah, so we had six of them. So each one of them saw the next one washing dishes. Yeah, so they, and they was ready the when they were, when it was their time before they got family. Family, like my, my brother came <laughs> to the house and he like, what? Yeah. They washing dishes, you know. Yeah. People be shocked of the things that we had our children doing, and they knew how to do yeah. it. You I, know? All my boys and girls, they all of them know how to wash dishes. Cut all of them know how to cut grass. All of them know how to wash clothes. All of them know how to separate clothes. Mm -hmm. All of them know how to, they clean the bathroom. All of them know how to clean the kitchen. And all of them know traffic exchange. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, they know how to work on the food. They they know that work is mm -hmm. you know you don't have to work for somebody else. Yeah, and we and we show and not and not only that before they they learned the work ethic. Mm -hmm. And they saw us they moving saw on us. up. They saw us transition 
from the projects yeah. to a house. So we showed them the transition. Not on that, we showed them a lifestyle mm -hmm. that they can get if they work it. Yeah. Now I can't. I, I I would love to to baby you up and, and carry you each way, but we showing you a lifestyle that's that that's obtainable if you just be attentive. Mm -hmm. And these things are things that strengthens relationships as well. Yeah, because when you have strong kids. If you got your kids, children, yeah, under control and, you know, the schedule, like you said, yeah. and, you know, all these things we're talking about contribute to a healthy relationship. relationship. Yeah. When the kids in the house, we all a team. Yeah. You know, it's one big team. Yeah, one big team. And team. that's another problem. Yeah. That's another problem. It's separation. <clears throat> yeah. When the kids come home from school or somewhere, you know, it's not like the kids don't ask, you know, what you need me to do. Some kids might, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, a lot of the times they, they just going to do their thing, especially mm -hmm. if you got them in front of the phone or you let them be on a uh, PlayStation or something yeah, but, all but day. But there needs to be times you can't be on a PlayStation all day. Right, but that's what I'm saying, that... That's the separation part. Yeah, but you because know? parents use it, that, that, that if they on a video game, they not bothering me, and that's yeah, the problem. They do. And yeah, that's, that's, and that's true too. They using video games and phones are the babysitters now. Yeah, that's and true. And that's why the kids are messed up because we let if they get to with this phone, they get to dictate, they get to build their own life, they get to create, put their own beliefs in there. They see something, they see some, they have to check it out and build their own beliefs. And we not got no input in the direction that we know our kids should go. If we know the right way. Some parents don't know which way their kids go. They mm -hmm. can't help their kids out because they struggle in themselves. Yeah. But when you got parents that do know a direction they want their kids to go, that they know their kids will be more successful later on down the road, then we need to be more input in teaching our kids. And it starts within the morning, yeah. morning routine. But if you don't know, if you are a parent who don't know, then get to know them because you know how to cut that TV on yeah. and watch Real Hounds of Atlanta, <clears throat> Wives of Atlanta or something. Yeah. You know how to get on Facebook. You know how to search stuff. Yeah. There's so much information on yes. this platform. YouTube yeah, University, YouTube, yeah. you got so much information. Learn how to better yourself and be that parent that yeah. you know your children, your child need or be that wife your husband and you will be that husband. Your wife need. Yeah. It ain't no excuse. It's, it's no so, excuse nowadays, you know. <laughs> man. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, man. Yeah. Like I said, we know that it starts with the morning routine. Mm -hmm. You should have your kids on affirmations, positive motivation. You got Eric Thomas. Like I said, Eric Thomas, he's one I would suggest. He's a good motivation speaker. And not only that, because kids need to hear the positive stuff. They need to hear they can... They can be they can be something without being too much, without that entitlement over. Oh, oh. Right. And because we teach them that, but we teach they getting it with entitlement. Yeah. And the reason they get it with the entitlement part, uh, a lot of the time, is the music. Yeah. They getting the wrong things in their ear. Yeah. Again, the ear and the eyes is the gateway yeah. to the mind. Yeah. So if it's if it's <laughs> easy to get out here and sell drugs and get all the hottest cars like they're hearing on the yeah. On the on music, then that's might be what they try. And I would suggest, man, if you somebody you listen to that rap music, don't listen to it with the kids in the car. Oh yeah, that was. A yeah, if you can just do that, because a lot of times most people, if you're not driving like that, you probably in the car what 15, 10 minutes, 15, 10 minutes, especially with the kids, mm -hmm. or maybe thirty minutes if you're going on a trip. But if you cannot have that boundary, well, I'm not gonna listen to the music I listen to. You adult, so you can listen to what you want to. But your kid need a chance. And yeah. you putting that in his head. Yeah, you got your little girl twerking on the uh, yeah. Instagram. On the headlights. On the twer you got your little girl <laughs> twerking, twerking on the head. head like you like, it's cute. Yeah. It's cute now, but when they get older, it's not going to be cute. It that's you out there checking themselves. It body. ain't that's, cute now. It's, it's your length. But we definitely, you know, you tell them, oh, that's so cute. Even when they talk, they yeah. might say a cuss word and they're like, <laughs> Six months. <laughs> they're like, yeah. shit. But, He's like, oh, that's so cute. Instead of, you know, I'm just, you know, six months, I'm tripping. But I'm but just saying. If, if uh, Like a year or yeah. something, they say that and they in front of your friends and stuff. Y'all all laugh. Yeah, and they like know funny. Yeah. They need to be scolded. Yeah. They need to know that, no, you don't say this. Because if you keep letting them talk that way. Yeah. And they hear, but, but they, they don't grow up. But they shouldn't even hear because 
they get it too early. Yeah. And they built, we built, we, we put the wrong things in their head mm -hmm. too early. And kids are the smartest. Yeah, you they learn they those are? songs quick. They learn those songs I quick. I believe it's up until five is when they when learn they, they the, the most. When they the most learning age. Up until five is when your kids learn the most. So if you can tame that, if you can tame them five years and let them actually get hear more positive things because most kids, like I said, you shouldn't have the radio if you, if you as adult, you listen to grown folks' music, that little nasty stuff, mm -hmm. you listen to that. Don't give your ch kids a chance, mm -hmm. man. If you want to give your kids a chance, have that boundary in the car with set, or even at the house when they they're around you. I'm not gonna listen to this music. Yeah. I'm gonna give my kids a chance, and I'm gonna listen to something else, or and give them some. Don't listen to no. Negative Violent, music. Negative Violent negative around music around the kids. Right, because when we went to the show, and look, oh, yeah. normally we wouldn't have went, but I went, I was on a roll. I was just winning tickets, but I regret going there. <laughs> <laughs> I regret that we went, but man, when Sexy Red came on, man, them kids here, uh, they, man, they yeah. went crazy. They went crazy, And man. they was twerk. I mean, they were doing it all. And I'm they just played it, yeah. And they did. were teenagers. They, I mean, they cut a fool. Yeah, and that's sad, man. That just telling the, the trajectory of our generation and what we, and here's the thing. The parents is the one putting that music on. Yeah. A lot of times, the parents, you can dictate what your 15, 16 year old. You might, and, and here's the thing. That, that that might can get it at school or somewhere, but when you come in my house, as in mm -hmm. me in my house, mm -hmm. you're not going to listen to that because I know the eyes and the ears are the gateway to your mind, and I'm going to make sure that me as a parent, I step up and first block what's coming in your mind. Mm -hmm. your Absolutely. And, and let them know why. And, 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 and like I said, it's good to have that talk. And another thing I would suggest is weekly talks mm -hmm. or day, more, my fact, daily family meetings. That was one of the things that we stopped when we was a uh, Raising our kids, that we stopped doing it. Our kids say, "I wish we would have did." That was one of the things that stuck out. We was like, "What well, it stuck out?" They like the weekly meetings or the daily meetings, and that's a chance where your kid can come and express their feelings to mm -hmm. you. Because a lot of parents, we the kid and parent, we disconnected. We don't know how to communicate, mm -hmm. and if we don't know how to communicate. We're not talking enough. We're not right. building. A Communication is a muscle, yeah. and we got to build that muscle up. For what, the more we practice that muscle, the better it off will be. Yeah. So we daily talks. Where you ten minutes or y'all and maybe at dinner time y'all spend the time and let the people in your family, the kids, express their feelings. Yeah, we actually made it a little funner because we would let them write their yeah. feelings on paper and put it in a you know like a jar. Yeah, we did do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, because did. sometimes kids they they can't talk to you, so do the little jar. Yeah, you could. They could write it down mm -hmm. and put it in and a jar. And we would too, like if yeah. it's something that we needed, it, and then we'll just pull, yeah. you know, at like the end of the week or something, you know, yeah. just pull it and talk about it. Yeah. Or like I said, the more you can do it, the more you can work this talking muscle, the better off you will be. Yeah. I would say you can do it daily. You can do it twice a Monday and Friday. And, but, and make sure when you're doing this that they feel like they're being heard. That's um, yeah. Because when I was putting it in, for uh, we would ask them, what is something that you want us to change or what's something that we're doing? You know, yeah. give them their chance to say how yeah. they feel as well, you know. Yeah. 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 So, like I said, have the weekly talks. What was the first thing we said? The boundaries? Yeah. No, no, no. The affirmations. Make sure they get the positive stuff. Like I said, yeah. you got E.T., Check YouTube out. Make sure you're getting that positive stuff. On yeah, the do that. I wonder if you see them still do that. I mean, for kids. is that only summer? T yeah, but summer I mean, school. but I, I'm sure a lot of people are, are fresh. Oh, they have yeah, so you got ET. School. You got Les like, Brown. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you. You got ET. You got Eric Thomas. You got Les Brown. You got Jim Rohn. Mm -hmm. Them, them two, them two, and that, and that right there yeah. is about that's that's plenty of content. Here's the thing: repetition is the mother of all learning. So whether they get right there, the three people I just gave you, they got years worth of content. Yeah. So once you hear the one, they play it back over because what repetition is the mother of all learning. Yeah, and I also like Lisa Nichols. Yeah, Lisa Nichols for, for the, the girls. girls. Yeah, for the girls. Yeah. Lisa Nichols for the girls. And it, it, other plenty of stuff that yeah, you can check on YouTube and search out. You check it out, filter it out for yourself. And you think it's mother and father approved, then put that in your kids here on a daily basis. The more positive material that we can put in our kids, the more common our kids are going to be. Mm -hmm. The number one thing that I feel like, too, is to pray together. Got to have that's God. true. Family that pray together, stay together. Got to have God. And that's something that I would have did differently often, more often. Yeah. We should have did. Um, 
more often. Yeah. Pray together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Positive motivation. Uh, weekly meetings or daily meetings with the kids. God, they got to believe in somebody. They got to believe. And here's the thing about, like I said, believing in God, because that force, they got to believe that there's a higher power than themselves. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of things, we want everybody walking right here like we be bosses. We gods, like we the only one that they got to answer to. So they, 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 they stuck. Mm -hmm. And we got to believe that there is a higher power that we got to answer to. Our con everything we do, consequences has action. action, action behind them. Mm -hmm. Another thing about letting your kids, um, act like they the boss or well, I ain't gonna say letting kids but you, your kids acting like a boss ain't good because they're gonna be reluctant to work with people or work yeah. for people like nah I ain't trying to help and that's nobody why they can't keep grow. a job and they keep coming back to I your ain't house trying to let no, help nobody else grow it's all about me I'm the boss yeah you know so, and, yeah, and yeah. that's why it's good to get them in sports and things and, yeah. and, 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 and activities teamwork. where they can develop teamwork because yes. that's that's what makes the world better when we teamwork. Teamwork yes. makes the dream work. work. Absolutely. So definitely make sure that, you know, like my baby said, you put them in sports. I'm um, showing them the team environment. Yeah. Like I said, though. Yeah, you had that team dynamic at the house. That's too. everywhere. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. That's everywhere. We're a team. We got to show them that. We're a team, yeah, and we're a team, yeah. You know, but it's two teams. We we're a team, and we we're all the head coaches, yeah. and y'all the players, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we all in to win, win baby. We baby. all win to win, and that's what you gotta develop that family culture that takes more positive atmosphere. So, all right. So, what we're gonna do, man? Like I said, we're gonna give you some resources inside the this inside the description. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you two resources. I'm gonna give you one because we know that the frame a more calm environment down inside your household because we know if you can calm down that house so people can actually talk and like we said we had in the first dominion the first thing is self-dominion so self-dominion over yourself is to control your emotions so we can actually us as kids and parents or parents and kids so we can actually sit down and talk and actually yeah. build that connection and keep that connection so we can actually be a better team. And yeah. y'all can, the kids can go out here and be more productive individuals in the streets and not be so violent. Yeah. And not only will you learn how to talk, but you learn how to listen. Yeah. You know, because it's just important as important, to, important to be able to listen. And you will know when yeah. to yeah. say certain things to your kids to so where they can be more receptive. Yeah. To accepting the things that you're saying to them. Okay. And, and that's what the 10 minute, uh, talk is or the 10 minute ritual the weekly daily talks is that's a chance for you to listen and the person that actually need to express themselves to do more talking mm -hmm. so that might be a time where you you let your kids express themselves more mm -hmm. well what i'm saying is um you know when i say the time that too yeah. but like if you just got into it with your kid or you just yeah. you know yell at them yeah, yeah. Let them calm down first before you talk to them about certain things yeah. from your heart that you need them to feel and really get into their heart. Let them mm -hmm. calm down so they can be receptive. <laughs> and you will learn stuff. Yeah, and what like resources we're going to we 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 give a bit in the video. You watch the video, and it can also contain the resources of the girl she gives her free resources. I know that we, we looked over this, and I know that it can help a lot of families out here to actually get it. Become a healthy family, twenty twenty four. Yeah. Because, like I said, if nothing changes, nothing will change, man. And I know this year you won't change, man. So if you want to change, you got to do something different, man. Yeah, and if you my age or you know around our age, and the blueprint that we had wasn't, well, yeah, <laughs> it, it wasn't the thing, you know, yeah. it wasn't the blueprint. But again, our parents could only teach us what they knew. Yeah. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. get some new things in. It's, 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 these kids new. We got some different you got, you things need going skills, on now. You need new tools. Yeah. To have those new kids, man. Right? Absolutely. So watch this video again if you need to, man, or find different points. We're gonna, the, the video will be like chaptered out so you can come to different spots in the video that you need to hear again, man. Mm -hmm. But I hope this helps you, and I hope you go out here and create the family and the relationship that you both love. Mm -hmm. You and your kids and your partner. Guys. Check the description. We're going to give you the information, the links in the description for the video and she's gonna get access to the free toolkit to help you keep a calmer family and really help you win man 2024 man before you leave make sure you hit that subscribe yeah. button and like, like this video so we can comment. get this information out to more people yeah. that need a healthy Share. dynamic yeah with their children yeah so. and healthy family man because healthy relationship with the kids is equal to healthy partnership mm -hmm.
Happy so, family. Us, the kids. Mm -hmm. Let's say we all got vision. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, together, let's go build the life, life that we love. Go